Of all the aspects of wood furniture, the finish most reflects its character, style, and quality. And finishing just happens to be a specialty at Hooker Furniture. It's what we're known for. What should you look for to determine the quality of a finish? Clarity and feel. A finish with good clarity lets the natural beauty of the wood come through. Lower quality products tend to hide the wood grain. If you rub your hand across the surface, you can feel the difference in finishes. Better furniture has a silky smooth feel. Protection is another feature of the finish. Better furniture has more layers of lacquer or clear coat to protect against physical wear, sun damage, and spills. Hooker Furniture utilizes a finishing process with up to 18 hand-applied steps. This results in unsurpassed clarity, depth, color richness, and durability. And our finishes feel as good as they look, with a smoothness that is delightful to the touch. Finishing process starts with a series of sanding and staining steps to control the color and surface of the wood. After that, a wash coat, fillers, and glazes are applied to even out the grain. Next, more stains, glazes, and pigments are applied. At this point, a simple clear finish will receive several coats of clear lacquer for years of protection, a total of 12 to 14 steps. Complex or distressed finishes like this one go on to receive even more attention, up to 18 steps. Finish distressing techniques create a worn, aged look that's unique to each individual piece. It's a very labor-intensive manual process, not just a simple spray. This custom finishing process helps Hooker Furniture products stand apart from the crowd Many of our finishes incorporate techniques which give the furniture a worn or antiqued look. One commonly utilized method to achieve this look is to add hang-up to the finish. This is what happens when certain glazes are applied to the finish, which fills in and emphasizes the cracks, wormholes, and corners of the product, all of which helps to exhibit the look of an older piece of furniture. When using the online catalog, zoom in to see the finished details, especially fly specking and water spots. The finish will be similar to, but not exactly like the image in the catalog. Let's take a look at some of the most popular finish distressing techniques. In cowtailing, we splash a long-haired brush across the surface, resulting in small clusters of finish marks. With fly specking, we flick the top of a brush and tiny bits of stain fly randomly across the surface. Spattering is the process of splashing glaze materials on the white wood or on the sealer coat to create larger splotches on the surface to add a more aged look. Water spotting is similar to spattering, except it is done with water splashed onto the white wood to give an aged look to the wood grain. Veiling lacquer achieves a random drizzle effect, or a cotton candy-like cloud of rapidly drying threads. The rub-through technique uses a solvent to selectively remove the finish, yielding a worn appearance. In dry brushing, an alternate color is brushed on for accenting. The crayon technique applies accenting on edges and corners. This is the breakaway filler process, Light or dark material is left in crevices and corners as an accent. With smudging, accent material is applied to add a mottled look to plain areas. Highlighting with steel wool lightens areas to create more contrast. An accent pad adds color to dark areas, creating contrast. Thank you for your time and interest in learning more about our products. Available from Hooker Furniture.